Other coaches obviously have different approaches. What's your approach? Do you give these guys a, this is what we want to hold opponents to? I know you stressed red zone. What kind of goals, if any, do, do you put on? Yeah, no, I, you know, what we do is we're really going to look um, category-wise. Um, we always look at our rushing defense. Um, we look at, you know, defense per play, scoring defense per possession, um, and our takeaways. And then third down end up being the five areas that we look at um, and want to have really, really competitive numbers uh, across the country. But those end up having translated into being able to play winning defensive football. Um, as you look at, you know, bowl teams and you look at, you know, the good defensive teams in the nation, those are end up being the statistics that um, ultimately drive winning. We hear so much about complementary football. Do you adjust your goals at all depending on, on your offense? I mean, this looks like an offense that can score a little. Do you? adjust your goals or, or do you want to do the same thing on your side of the ball no matter what? Yeah, no, I think it's you, what you do is, uh, you know, obviously the number one goal for our program is to score more points than our opponents. Part of that is, as far as the defensive football team, is to do a really, really nice job of, of playing good defense. And so as far as adjusting any goals, you know, what, what we'll do is we'll try to do as best we can on, on defense. And we're fortunate, we're fortunate to have a really, really good offense. After the scrimmage, a lot of the players said that they felt like they started too slow in the beginning, that the Dolphins were able to get ahead. Do you feel like they responded to that in the tracks of after the scrimmage? Yeah, you know, I think that, uh, you know, the scrimmage, you know, we did start slow in the first few series. There was a lot to teach um, from those situations. And um, it's always tough because you're moving different guys in and out of those scrimmage situations, playing with multiple groups. So it's always really hard to get a true feel of really what the flow of the game was until you watch the film. And there's a lot of things uh, from us for us to learn from. And uh, we're, we're going to continue to continue to grow and learn. And that's that's why we're in camp. So we're, we're fortunate that we've got a bunch of guys that appreciate the process. And uh, tomorrow will be another big scrimmage for us. On Tuesday, Coach Kitchings was, wasn't too happy with the offense. But defensively, you guys forced a couple turnovers. How did you feel that they responded from that scrimmage and that practice afterwards? Yeah, no, it's and it's it's always incremental. You know, it's it's interesting when you watch the film. It's never as good or if it's never as bad usually as, as you think it is. Um, and so that's always, you know, a fun thing for us as a coaching staff to do is to go digest exactly what we put on the field and uh, you know, and then be able to be really really good teachers. So that uh, that's kind of where we're at in camp. Is the defense designed to create turnovers, and how can your depth on the defensive line maybe maybe help with that in terms of getting that? Yeah, and I mean, turnovers are, are huge, uh, both sides of the ball. You know, if we can win turnover margin as, as a football program, we'll be in great shape. Um, now, as far as creating turnovers, you know, it starts with number one, being great tacklers, um, and then executing defensive schemes to be able to create some of that. So, you know, we, we just got to, you know, n number one, focus on our fundamentals. And then uh, the second piece is making sure that guys do a great job of executing the defense. And we as coaches got to do a tremendous job of teaching um, as we continue to grow. On that same topic, I was watching Chris Slade. I know you get into those little pods with different drills. And, uh, Slade was doing the secure the tackle and strip the ball. And I must have heard him say, secure the tackle first a thousand times in the times they were coming through. Is that something just in college football in general that, that maybe is, is being lost, the idea of making sure you have the tackle before you go for the big hit or the strip or the punch the ball out, that kind of stuff? Yeah, no, I, I think just, you know, it, you know Shoot. If we're going to play deep, great defensive football, we got to be great tacklers, um, and then and then you hope that that second guy and third guy with great effort that comes in, you get a chance to, you know, expose the football, and and if guys are conscious about the second and third guy coming in to take a, a strip or a punch at the ball, you, you hope to force that ball out. What if you go? Say, have you seen enough in practice and scrimmage that it will be a good tackling team? Have you seen enough yet to, to figure out what to do? Yeah, no, I think that's always, um, you know, the challenge at camp is obviously certain guys have been put in those positions. Um, you know, I'll be the first to say is we're, we're going to, you know, th there'll be bad calls. Um, there'll be missed tackles. Um, but what we'll do is, you know, we've got to just play with great effort and, uh, and then also have the flexibility to be really good learners too as we go. So, um, you know, I, I think that, you know, these guys are doing a tremendous job of, of again, picking up the defense, embracing each other, and then, and frankly, committing to uh, you know Coach Elliott's vision of uh, of building this model program. Your guys just said, uh, but I imagine you know implementing an offense is very different than implementing a defense. But Coach Elliott said on Saturday it felt like you had two playbooks you were running out there at times. 
how much can you get deep into it just in this first fall camp? Yeah, no, I'd, I, you know what? You know, I've really had a fire hose mentality with these guys. And then what we'll do as a coaching staff as we start to get ready for the season is, you know, be really retrospective as far as what did we, what have we done really, really well in spring ball and fall camp, and then let that be our package. And so that allows us to boil it down and uh, ultimately um, try to put guys in a position where they can play the fastest, which I think can lead up to us, you know, playing the best defensive football. How much does it help having a guy like Nick Jackson back there who has so much experience just to kind of help ease that transition of putting a new yeah, no, it's, I'll tell you what, you know, guys like Nick that, um, that represent the University of Virginia uh, in such a, such a great way, uh, not only as a football player, but as a student athlete, um, you know, it's, I'll tell you what, he brings a, a tremendous leadership, but and also what he is, is he's shown he's a tremendous football player. And, you know, his leadership is going to start with his ability to be really, really productive. And, uh, you know, he's shown a lot of glimpses of that throughout uh, the spring and now fall camp. How about the guy next to him? Um, Ahern is Nick's roommate, and Nick said that he's the first time he's been healthy, so he's really excited to see what he can do. Josh said that he's really toned down, his body fat slimmed down, he feels more explosive. What have you seen from Ahern and his ability? Yeah, J Josh Ahern, uh, you know, I tell you what, he's he's another one of these young men that that's a that's a leader as well, you know, because he's a he's a great worker, um, you know, he, he's super and super disciplined with his training. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you what, he's a fun guy to coach. So it's going to be fun to see him, uh, you know, be really, really productive this year. In the secondary, are you happy with depth there? Are you developing depth in, in, the, in the background there with the twos and the threes? How do you kind of see the depth in the secondary? Yeah, and again, it's, you know, it's we're continuing, you know, trying to, to, move, to move the pieces around to find out who, who those best guys are. Um, you know, I think that what we'll do is we'll get to see a little bit more of that tomorrow. Um, by you know guys playing some different spots, and hopefully that gives us a real clear picture by Monday to uh, to say hey th you know this will be your home position. At the same time, guys are going to have to be able to play multiple spots uh, throughout a season. So we'll uh, you know we'll we'll find a way. What do you have? Back? The guys were saying it's a, a boundary safety, a field safety, a strong safety, and then the corners are just left and right. Or do you play field and boundary? Yeah, corners? you know we'll play you know yeah we'll play left and right and. Uh, you know, so really what we just, really it's, you know, we play with like a Sam linebacker position. You know, it's kind of that field safety for us. So it's a, you know, it's a hybrid spot that they've got to do a lot of different things um, in the defensive scheme. But, uh, you know, shoot, we just, we're going to have to be really, really good at that, at that, you know, that Sam linebacker spot. Um, and, you know, what we'll do is we'll find a way to, you know, put, put somebody out there that can, you know, go over and stand over number two and, 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 and hopefully, you know, disrupt some timing there for the quarterback. Who's been working there? Uh, yeah, Darius Bratton has been working there, so he's played just about everywhere here. So. He has, you know. Shoot, Darius, you you talk about a young man that you know has played corner, he's played safety, he's, I mean, you know, and so he he, he gives you a lot of diversity um, in in what you can do schematically, and um, so it's uh, he's a great young man. You know, he's been you know it's been that that time of camp now. Where guys are a little banged up, your your legs are not fresh like when you started camp. So um, we'll uh, you know we'll have to grind through scrimmage tomorrow and uh, watch these guys get after it. James Jackson that's having a lot of upside. Just what did you see from him? I know he was out early in camp, but how's he performed? Yeah, J you know James had a great spring, um, and you know again he, you know it's, he was just unfortunate to, to to be nicked up a little bit to start camp. But he's a young man that can run sideline to sideline. Um, you know, super good athlete, physical, um, and just a, you know another one of these guys that exemplify what it is to you know be a student athlete here at the University of Virginia.